has been rather less than impressive in recent seasons. They struggled against Forfar and East Fife, for example, and of course went out of the Scottish Cup at this stage last season against Hamilton Eckies. By all accounts, they were relieved to come away from Starks Park on Monday with a draw, but surely they would complete the job at Ibrooks tonight. Derek Ray was there to find out. Plenty of cup tie experience in the Rangers side. They know they may, must take nothing to chance against the Raith Rovers team that really are fired up for this important occasion, but plenty of experienced players on the side. And Richard Goff, one very important member of the Rangers team, he missed Monday night's game at Kirkcaldy because of suspension. He was sent off in the game at Petodre against Aberdeen on Saturday. A match Rangers won by two goals to one. Not so many household names in the Raith Rovers team. Andy Harrow, one of them, though, he'll play left back the former Aberdeen and Motherwell player and an exciting player to watch out for, Steve Simpson, who'll play wide on the right, the old outside right position. And there's one man upon whom much will depend tonight, Hamish McAlpine, in his 40th year, believe it or not, the former Dundee United goalkeeper. And a match referee is Mike McGinley of Clydebank. And Rangers kick off the game playing with the aid of the wind and also with the support of a very noisy crowd here at Ibrox Stadium. They'll be trying to occupy the Wraith Rovers defence for the opening few minutes. But it's into reverse gear for the moment. The first touch of the ball for Hamish McAlpine. with a header there's Andy McCoyst John McStay penalised free kick going to Rangers such a dangerous player McCoyst from the deep position knows how to put defences under pressure Derek Ferguson's cross first corner of the game and it goes to Rangers Walters and McCoy up on the goal line. Ray Wilkins chasing. There's Mark Walters. And that's the second goal of the match. And the pressure being exerted by Rangers. Ian Durant entrusted with the corner. And there's Goff for the header. So dangerous coming in from the back. Upfield from Cammy Fraser, but straight through to Chris Woods. His first touch of the ball. Wilkins. It's Jan Bartram, the Danish international. Durant, Wilkins, then a touch for Bartram. Big touch from Ian Durant. Now Mark Walters. Really has proved himself as a favourite with the Ibrox faithful. Signed from Aston Villa. Looking up. And there wasn't much to spare from Walters then. Bartram again winning the ball in the air. You can almost call it head tennis at the moment. Andy Harrow. Ferguson touching it back to Roberts. Now here's John Brown. Bartram's making the run outside him. Bartram's cross. Breaks to Mark Walters. Perhaps a crack at goal. 
Arsenal still in play. He's almost trying to get it away. Wilkins. There's Richard Goss Cross. Straight at McAlpine. Effective forward going player golf as well as a defender. Wilkins going for it. Ferguson. Richard Goff. Rangers players running from all angles just at the moment. Wilkins. Now Ian Durant. And Paul Sweeney is penalised. Free kick to Rangers. Wilkins with a free kick. Go for the header! And that's what Richard Goff is good at, coming in from the back. Well taken free kick from Wilkins then. Positive run from Goff. The Calpine using all his experience. Wilkins. Slackness creeping in, David Lloyd going for it, then Harris. Wilkins doing well to push it back to Bartram. Scott Nisbet leaving it for Richard Goff. And Derek Ferguson has moved deep. Picking out Ian Durant. Bartram. Perhaps a crack at goal from the day. It wasn't a bad effort, but too close to Hamish McAlpine. With Bartram giving notice of his attacking intentions. Looking up, just assessing the situation, finding the gap. McAlpine on the save. It's covering, getting there before Colin Harris. Richard Goff breaking out of defence. Ferguson. Goff has made the run forward. Corner kick. But he's everywhere at the moment is Richard Goff. Derek Ferguson with the corner. Something Brash who got it away. Colin Harris. It's Rangers throw. Richard Goff again. Derek Ferguson. So things going the way of Rangers just at the moment. A few words of advice from Cammy Fraser to goalkeeper McAlpine. And he saved many important penalty in his time. Ian Durant against McAlpine. Durant making no mistake. Goal coming in the 16th minute. Alpine gambling on direction and losing. Rangers are ahead. Richard Goff. Well, he has.
Gennaro trying to keep it in play, but failing. And in the choice for Rangers, Walters! Good header and a good save. A looping header from Walters, always difficult for goalkeepers. Mekhoi at the heart of the move. McAlpine making a good save. John McStay. Signed from Motherwell. Good ball for Colin Harris to chase. Bartram is the fullback covering. And it's Rangers throw. in very well at Ibrox as Jan Bartram signed from the Danish club Zilkeborg it's John McStay Colin Harris's chase was in vain Ian Durand has moved deep Roberts on ball for should go off to chase. Pushed out by Cammy Fraser. Richard Goff with it. Roberts. Ian Durant. Now John Brown. Trying to play a little one-two. Well read by the Raider over his defence. Here's Jan Bartram. Cross again for Richard Goff. And Derek Ferguson with a shot. McCoyce! But it's not going to count. So nearly 2-0 for Rangers. And surely that would have sealed the tie. Interesting move from Rangers. Ali McCoyst. The offside position. There's Colin Harris, touch inside to Simpson. Coyle. Simpson making the chase, so is David Lloyd. Chris Woods getting it just inside the box. Richard Goff. After the final minute of the first half, North Rovers have battled away without ever seriously threatening the Rangers' goal, and again the flag up. Offside against David Lloyd. Roberts' free kick, Goff's head flick, Wilkins, And the cross from Roberts. Goff going up for it. And now Mark Walters! <laughs> and the crowd wanted a penalty kick, but it was never on. No throwers, players slipping and sliding all over the place. Here comes Ian Durant. Blocked away by Alec Brash, and it falls to Steve Simpson. With him is Graham Roberts. And Simpson getting past the Rangers captain. Charged away by Ferguson. Sweeney with the throw. And Steve Simpson again. Just possessed by Derek Ferguson. We're into injury time in the first half now. Perhaps a last chance in the first period for Wraith Rovers. John McStay's making an overlapping run. Mark Walters on the tackle. And he's penalised. It's 
So Wraith Rovers looking to end the first half on a good note. Cole Sweeney with a free kick. On those point jerseys inside the box. And it's a corner. David Lloyd so nearly getting on the end of it. Tension mounting. Wraith Rovers perhaps sensing they're onto something here. Sweeney's corner. This time it's a throw to Wraith Rovers, but in fact, there goes the half time whistle. The throw won't be taken. It really has been Rangers' first half. But they have only one goal to show for their efforts. That penalty kick early on in the game, but Ali McCoy was taken out by Hamish McAlpine. And from the resultant spot kick, Ian Durant sending McAlpine the wrong way to give Rangers the lead at the interval. And Wraith Rovers face an uphill struggle in the second half as they stay in the Scottish Cup tie. They battled well on Monday night in the game at Kirkcaldy. Frank Connor, the manager, was renowned for his battling qualities. Colin Harris for Wraith Rovers. Tackle made by Graham Roberts. Scott Nisbet. Given to the ball by Harrow. Couldn't keep it in play, though. And the throw goes to Rangers. Rangers first half superiority they have only a one goal advantage to show for their efforts and Rovers caught offside David Lloyd running into the forward position showed one or two flashes in the first half did David Lloyd without ever seriously troubling the Rangers back four Lloyd for Wraith Rovers. Dropped to the ball by Wilkins. Free kick taken quickly. Walters. Rangers are on side. Scott Nisbet. Duranta McCoy waiting in the middle. Corner kick. to take it short to Bartram cross intended for Brown Steve Simpson wins a free kick here's Paul Sweeney showed one or two sparks of magic in the first half and Wraith Rovers are on side Colin Harris has David Lloyd waiting in the middle with an important tackle made by the Rangers captain Graham Roberts Questions asked inside the Rangers' back four. Wraith Rovers have a corner. Steve Simpson to take it. Wraith Rovers have equalised. David Lloyd. as if Rangers had cleared up the situation but David Lloyd appearing on those white jerseys inside the box the depth head flick and then the header down from David Lloyd and Chris Woods lost it on the line and we certainly have a cup tie on our hands now Mark Walters trying to push his way forward for Rangers the tackle was made by John McStay well, Walters has been called over by the referee. He was looking for the free kick, but not getting it.
Totally new complexion on the game now. This being a replay, of course, should the game end at 1-1. Extra time will follow. Stop Nisbet probing. Straight into the path of Fraser. Pushed out by Brown. Throw this to Rage Rovers. Simpson. Sweeney's throw. Simpson again appearing, pushed away by Roberts. Only into the path of Andy Harrow. Again, Wade Roberts are on side. Colin Harris chasing. Rocked up by Jan Bartram. When just trying to start an attack themselves. Free kick that time. Molly McCoy is taken out by Alec Brash. And this is going to be the second booking of the game. Really was a late challenge by Brash on the Goist. Jubilation in the Raith Rovers ranks. The supporters in the Broom Lone Road stand here at Ibrox Stadium. And this has been a great evening for them. Ray Wilkins with a free kick. Richard Goff inside the box. Goes to Ian Durant. Will Skullman scramble. Wait, Rovers got it away somehow. Falls to Ian Durant again. Derek Ferguson outside him. Almost falling to Ali McCoist. There's Richard Goff. Determined defence from Wait Rovers as they block the ball away. Wilkins. Ferguson's cross for Goff. Ian Durant. A chance wasted. Durant trying to finish off the move. This is a different Wraith Rovers side. All of a sudden they have self-belief. Coyle looking for the free kick. Not getting it. Ray Wilkins trying to mount a Rangers attack. Free kick to Rangers. Brash has been in the thick of the action in the last few minutes. Ray Wilkins is standing over the free kick. Again looking for Richard Goff. Jan Bartram! A thunderbolt from the Danish fullback. And that nearly those problems for Wraith Rovers in the form of a second Rangers goal taking it first time and it wasn't far away Jan Bartram Cammy Fraser on the recovery Shown themselves to be a constructive side of Wake Rovers, but here come Rangers again. Mark Walters. Across too strong for McCoy. There's Ferguson stamping it in. Graham Sunnis calling for the penalty kick, and it is Rangers' second penalty of the game.
Referee Mike McGinley was right up with play. Ferguson's cross, sort of trying to control it. Judge for yourself. So Ian Durant has already been successful once in the game. He's going for a second here. As usual, the long run up. Durant against McAlpine, and it's saved! And that tells its own story. The supporters in the Wraith Rovers end of the ground. The hero for Wraith Rovers is McAlpine. Wasn't a very strong penalty, but McAlpine guessing correctly. Disappointing ball, picked off by Ali McLeod, the other substitute. Trying to go it alone. And who else is free but Steve Simpson? Free kick against Mark Walters. players do Wraith Rovers, John McStay with a free kick, Ali McLeod, shown some nice touches early on in the game as far as he's concerned as Ali McLeod, Wilkins, Walters is chasing, with him is McStay. Walters drawing it back for Durant! The ball striking Andy Harrow. The corner kick goes to Rangers. And who would have believed that scoreline before the game started? This match heading for extra time. Nisbet. Back again for Walters. Well, it missed everyone. Great Rovers got it away. John McStay. Graham Sooners chasing. Wilkins. Mark Walters. Oh, wonderful touch from Walters. But too strong for Durant. Wilkins cross, Durant, goal! That's the goal that could save Rangers and prevent this game from going into extra time. Ian Durant's 12th of the season. Lovely piece of skill from Mark Walters. Getting past Alec Brash. Too strong initially. Scott Nisbet taking it on. The size of header down, and Durant applying the finish. Ten minutes left to go in the game, and could it be now that the Wraith Rovers' dream is over? Walters. 